hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so if you have not purchased my new deck that i released on black friday queen nella's hidden secrets oracle deck make sure you go to the description box down below and you copy it i rate i spent a lot of time on it um i love how it came out i'm obsessed with the freaking deck for those of you that have got it um that have purchased it Thank you so freaking much. Y'all had me almost cry, bitch. I was so lit. I was so freaking lit on Black Friday. I was full. I was like just a little bit of energy. You know what I'm saying? When you just be getting up in your energy, be eating your food. The yams was touching the macaroni and cheese and stuff. Like I was saying, um, I'm freaking obsessed with this deck. I love it. Um, not only the artwork, but just what it is. Um, it's very beginner friendly. And I feel like a lot of people will get a lot of good uses out of it. And so, once again, go to the link in the description box if you do want to purchase it. Hello, Cancer, and welcome back to my channel. So, before we get into your reading, these messages are general. <laughs> these messages are general. Not every message is going to pertain to you on a personal level. So, if you like a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box down below. Let me tell you something, Cancer. Y'all got me a little bit messed up, alright? Because I definitely was like two seconds from like cutting y'all off from readings because y'all views be looking crazy but anyway let's get into what i was picking up so when i was tapping into y'all energy um i saw a bomb and it had like all of these buttons on it um i knew it was a bomb because it was like red and it had like a like a black tape on it and then the buttons was on it and i saw someone like pressing the buttons i feel like i feel like somebody is pressing like someone's buttons like trying to push them to the edge i don't know if like you're not in me <laughs> i'm sorry this is funny because the resistance on this other person that like is getting their buttons pushed is ridiculous like they're they're trying not to give in so freaking hard um yeah i'm feeling like the ten of wands with that so it's like i feel like cancer you're pushing somebody's buttons and like you're really getting to them for some of you, this is like a man and a woman. I don't know what that's about, but somebody's about to get crazy for you or over you. So let's see what's going on with y'all. Oh my goodness. I just heard October. So somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's see. Ooh, or a Libra. Or a Libra. I just heard I just heard Mars and Moon. All right, let's see. What's going on, my cancers? Ooh, ooh, you got motherfucking money. All right. <laughs> I feel like this motherfucker got some food up in the motherfucking fridge. All right. <laughs> I like this energy. Somebody wants you to move in with them, and it's definitely a man. Ooh, for some of you, you're already, like, living with this person. Now, with this all of the energy being falling in love, I feel like somebody has already fell. Ooh, did you go, somebody? Okay, somebody has abandonment issues. Or, like, somebody didn't want somebody to leave somebody first, so they left them first. But this person's in love with you. Maybe they act like a motherfucker, so that's why you, like, retract your energy. But they got, they got food in their fridge. Like, they got juice. <laughs> Which sign did I do? And I was like... This motherfucker don't got no food in the fridge or something like that. I don't remember. Was it Scorpio? I think it was Scorpio. So some of y'all really could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or you got like a prominent Scorpio placement. Like in your 7th house. Or um, in your Venus. Alright, let's see. What's going on with Cancer? Ooh, I just want to manipulate you bitch why 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 all the fuck shit gotta come out and stay in a way to avoid the drama what is this manipulation Ooh, because i just don't give a shit the fuck is this cancer hey what else who the hell is this because this is weird like it doesn't feel right i'm fucked up about us not talking or vibing come back indecision OJ Simpson that pussy and I know you have options and it freaks me out. Oh, okay. Girl, I thought <laughs> bitch, I was about to say, what? What is going on? 
Okay, so to me, you could be dealing with a Taurus because I did hear Taurus, but I also heard female. So this could be a female. So you could be like a female Taurus that is dealing with a cancer man that just cut off a cancer man. Um, that's for someone. But for others of you, it's like this person wants to manipulate you into feeling like they don't give a shit. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? They can have like a Libra placement or air placement. It's like they want to manipulate you to believing that they don't give a shit, but they really do. Like they're really fucked up about like, yeah, it's weird. You know what? I do want to clarify this. What is this person, like what are they trying to manipulate? Cancer, how are they trying to manipulate cancer? What do they want to manipulate cancer into thinking? What is this manipulation? If the chariot card come out, what the hell is this? Oh, if the chariot card come out, child, ooh, ace of pentacles, the title card. Okay, that's too many. That's too many. One more. What the hell? Alright, we're gonna keep it out. Yeah, some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer man. You could be a cancer man. I knew I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Didn't I say watch watch the, the chariot card come out? I, I freaking knew it. Three of swords. Oh shit. Damn. Five of cups. Three of cups. Will of fortune. Damn. With the six of wands. Who the hell is this? Okay, Cancer. So, basically, this is a man. Alright? So, that's just, like, I can't. <laughs> I guess just is enough. Um, because I can feel the masculine energy. And then, like, for the king of cups to be out here. So, this could be a Cancer man. Or they could have a Scorpio on their chart. Or they could also have, um air libra gemini aquarius but it's like this person is trying to manipulate you into believing that like not only do they have like bank but like that they that they could do better or like they have a new opportunity that's coming and they're moving on from you but the only thing that they're doing is moving into fucking heartbreak and sadness but they want it they want to make it look like you know they're having the time of their life they're like you know going places they're on top of the wheel of fortune they're getting their money together they're dating um and that they're happy but they're really unhappy they really want to talk to you it's so weird they're really fucking heartbroken and they really want to talk to you another thing that i'm getting is like this person wants you to like give you like give them attention like i feel like this person is very showy it's like they they like the fact that you're that you're looking at them or that they think that you're looking at them but they're really sad without you it's like they really want you to like reach out to them even though they tried to stunt on you all right and it's like the other person is staying away to avoid the drama all right let's continue What's going on with cancer? <laughs> Shit. Fucking knew it. Why is this person trying to make you believe that, like, they don't give a damn about you? It don't make no sense because they can't let you go. Now, again, these messages could be vice versa, but, like, this is just the facts. <sighs> like, this don't make no, this don't make no motherfucking sense, all right? Alright, what's going on with cancer? Some of you need to do like a self-love spiritual bath. Is what I'm hearing. Look, I'm a Libra. Some of y'all are dealing with a freaking Libra. Chasing money. Okay. I like... Oh, you can be dealing with the Pisces as well. Mental illness plays a big role. Some of you guys have some Sagittarius in that chart or be dealing with the Sagittarius. Because I was kind of picking up on this energy in Sagittarius' reading, but 
it's it's different because it's very it's more emotional so i definitely feel like somebody could have a cancer moon or a cancer i mean or a libra moon because this reading is very fucking emotional Ooh, standing in your power and slowly coming to approach you i feel like this person is very intimidated not only by your energy but like by you as well Oh, I thought you were just gullible, dumb for me. Damn, did I really wait too long? And I'm, yeah, look at this. Period, bitch. Now we're getting into some motherfucking things. Listen, somebody thought that they had you. And I felt like you did a switcheroo on this person. It was like, <laughs> nah, bitch. You don't got me on lock. And now this person's like, whoa, wait. Like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, so they're going to come in fast. Because they feel like they feel like they're losing their grip on you, or like they don't they don't yeah like you don't love them, and this person's very arrogant. Somebody could be dealing with the Aries, or this person could have Aries in their chart. Super unbothered. You're my other half. Okay, let's see. Oh, see, I knew it. Somebody could be dealing with the Taurus, or they could be like a Taurus cross watcher up in here, or you could have some Taurus in your chart. Oh my goodness, this person's fucking in love with you, Kia, sir. But they fucked up. What did they do? Oh, okay. So the wrong choices that this person made, they were making it because they had some resentment towards you. So I don't know what you did to this person, but they're still holding on to, like, past shit that y'all been through. Ghosted, ghosting, ghost, and falling in love. Cancer, I feel like you ghosted this person. I'm gonna be honest. Because I'm not feeling masculine energy with this. Somebody could have ghosted you or not talking to you. But it's like the more the more absence that like. <sighs> what is that? What is that saying? Like that absence makes the heart go fonder. It definitely applies here. Oh look, I'm a Capricorn. Oh shit, I know you're lying. Dark magic. I'm ready to expose the truth to you. Ooh, and I'm chasing you. Period. Hey. <laughs> Cancer, you know you love a motherfucker to chase your ass. You could have done some spiritual work. Actually, what is this dark magic? Oh, losing my grip on you. I feel like this dark magic is talking about, like, the things that are hidden. Because dark magic is not always, again, like, somebody... You know, practicing dark magic and all of that shit. Sometimes it's just like, you know, the things that we we hide from people to manipulate them into believing that, like, those feelings aren't there. So I'm getting, like, suppressed feelings. So this person wants to and is going to express their, their truth to you, um, their feelings to you. I feel like they're going to chase you as well. <laughs> oh my goodness no communication no text nothing that person got magical powers i feel like a feminine energy is not talking to someone and it's making them want to come in what is this no communication yeah look reconciliation is coming soon yeah cancer i feel like there's somebody that you're not talking to and it's like they really don't Oh, they could have already texted you and like they don't want to double text or yeah like something like that it's like this person is like pissed the hell off that they have to like seem thirsty or like crawl back like I don't know this person has a lot of ego and pride yeah look at this I just said this I just fucking said this you really bruised my ego I'm not dealing well with it and stalking your social media, very stalkery. Somebody is like watching you, Facebook stalking, wanting to know what you doing, all up in your motherfucking business every single day. Yeah, look, because they want you to like break the ice. I feel like somebody texts you, you didn't text them back, and they really do not want to double text your ass because it's like, nah, I don't want to blow this bitch head up or I don't want to blow his head up. Yeah, look, didn't I, didn't I say that somebody's going to come back crawling? And I said, 
<laughs> and that's it. So I got to it by the ego. That's so crazy. Thank you, spirit. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries. Too much pride and ego. And I'm gonna come back crawling. Yeah, look, new love coming in. I'm just a motherfucking liar. So you could like you could be lying on social media that you have a new lover. Or like you might tell this person like I could do better. Like I got an I got another motherfucker up in the wings. Like you ain't you ain't the end all be all. Yeah, look, I need something different and starting over. I feel like that's I feel like this is your energy. Like this is what you're like making them believe. But I kinda feel like you still you still really want this motherfucker. Okay, let's see. One more. Ooh, talking to multiple men, mingling, singling, mastermind games. Then we have no. Oh, what's this no? I'm a Pisces. I'm a Capricorn. Stopping you on social media. I decided to move on to clingy and I'm gonna sweep you off your feet yeah it's like this person wants you to believe that they're over you but they're really not that's so weird so what is this person gonna get out of this maybe this is you cancer that's trying to make somebody like trying to make somebody believe that like you're fucking with someone else or like you can Lovers quarrel. Y'all gonna have a fight or argument. <laughs> New romantic feelings. That's too many. One more. Envious co-workers talking shit about you. I'm testing you. Okay, and somebody is talking to, like their friends about what's going on here look their party situation okay first of all cancer what i'm getting there's something that's going on with y'all job like i feel like y'all have um haters at your job or like people that are trying to like sabotage your job or sabotage the way that you make a living um these people could be like antagonizing you like just getting on your motherfucking nerves i don't know what this is about but um whoever is like <laughs> acting like they don't like kind of playing hard to get it's like you are gonna get what you want like this person is gonna come to like press you like what the fuck is you doing like i know you're lying like what's going on with you i feel like this person is talking like shit about you to their friends um but for some of you they're not talking shit they're just talking about like the drama between you two what's this new new romantic feelings oh i'm a gemini what's this new romantic feelings Ooh, your options make me insecure as fuck. Talking to multiple women, player, player. In despair over you, get a personal reading. Hate, yeah, y'all got some motherfucking haters. Okay, so, again, there's somebody that is really, like, believing that you have a lot of options. But, Loki, I feel like you, you, okay, I feel like you do have options, but you're not taking them seriously. Like, never in a million motherfucking years. Like, this person is your person. This is the person that you want. I feel like the only reason why you do got options is to, like, boost your confidence and to just, like, not focus on them. But, like, you, you really know that you want this motherfucker. Like, you know you, you know you want this person. They can't let you go either, so... But you do have them, like, overthinking that you do have options. And it does make them very insecure. So, Cancer, y'all got a lot going on. You know what? Let me pull one more. Oh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Losing interest, bored of you. Some of you that are in relationships could be losing interest in your partner. Because they're not giving you, like, they're not speaking your love language. Or, yeah, I'm getting, like... They're not nurturing, like, the loving aspect of your relationship. No. What's this no? Ooh, female, female crying over you. For the motherfucking streets. And I know you're cheating on me. Who the hell is this? I feel like a new person just, just entered the chat. Like, who is this? Um... Okay, let's see. Who is this female that's crying? Who is this female? I'm 
I'm gonna sweep you off your feet. What? Okay. I'm testing you. I don't have money. It makes me very insecure. I'm a Capricorn, incoming communication, focusing on me, and Scorpio. Oh, okay. So, if you... Ugh, this is so complicated. If you're a female and, like, you're sad because you feel like this person is for the streets and they're cheating on you and, like, they're focused on their options, that's not the facts. This person is just broke and they're trying to get their life together. They're trying to get their money up. They're trying to get their stability up. They're really trying to focus on them so that they could be, like, I don't know why I'm hearing emperor. Like, so they could be, like, the emperor for you because I feel like you're the emperor. So you have your own business. Um, or just, like, make a lot of bread or something. But it's like, yeah, this person, they're not cheating on you. And they're not losing interest in you. They're just, they're just broke. And that's just the facts of the situation. I'm also getting, like, a start over. I feel like this person had to, like, start their life over for some reason. Um, yeah, that's what I'm really feeling. And I feel like this person is gonna, like, come in to, like, talk to you. Yeah, I'm a Leo. Thinking of you less detaching. Major career success. My goodness, again, you could be dealing with, like, a fire sign or somebody that has, like, a prominent, like, alpha male sign in their chart. Like, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, um, Capricorn, um, Aries what else um i'm um, gemini even um it's like like this person really needs to like <laughs> again i get like they really need to like get their money up but they do know that like you're you're like rising in your career or like you're making a lot of money and you're like focusing on your money and not them and that is forcing them to like you know better their life and and fix and heal the wounds that they have because they do want to be better for you so cancer i hope that you enjoyed your reading do not forget to like this video and comment down below